The Jordanian princess Iman tied the knot with Jamil Alexander Thamiatis today. Iman is the second child of Jordan King Abdullah II and his wife Rania and first of their four children to marry. Iman and Jamil got engaged on 6 July 2022 and Palace announced their wedding day just last week. The wedding was hosted at the Bayt Al Jordan Palace, the official residence of king and queen, and was attended by close 150 family, friends and relatives. Ahead of the wedding, Queen Rania shared a small video of the wedding decorations that showed that the wedding was going to be something simple and elegant, reflecting Iman's personality, who stays away from media limelight and keeps a very low-key profile. I was surprised that the palace even broadcast the wedding ceremony itself live. Crown Prince Hussein Saudi fiancé Rajwa Khalid Al Saif was among the 150 guests at the event. King Abdullah II and Queen Rania welcomed the guests personally in the garden of the palace. Princess Iman's in-law family was among the guests today. The family has roots in Greece. Iman's husband, Jamil Alexander Thamiotis, real name is Dimitrios or Jimmy Alexander Thamiotis. Jamil's grandfather, Dimitrios Thamiotis, was born in Andros, Greece, but left the country for Venezuela. Jamil was born in Caracas, Venezuela, in 1994 to Alexandros Thamiotis and Corina Hernandez. He has one younger sister and a brother. His parents and siblings were present at the wedding today. Jamil studied business administration and business at Florida International University and founded a venture capital firm called Outbound Ventures LLC, which is based in New York in 2015. As per Spanish press, Iman and Jamil met in the US 3 years ago and have been dating since then. During the wedding, we can see how happy Jamil looked and he just could not stop his smile throughout the ceremony. Princess Iman walked down the aisle with her elder brother Crown Prince Al Hussein while her father and fiance were waiting for her at the altar. Iman looked elegant in a simple wedding dress that featured a full skirt, a sheer lace panel at the neckline, and lace cup sleeves. The simple wedding dress was adorned with a sweeping veil embroidered with intricate flowers. Keeping her hair in elegant bun, Iman wore a diamond fringed tiara and carried a small posy of white flowers. There are reports circulating that the tiara belonged to her grandmother, but there are very distinct differences between the said tiara and the tiara Iman wore today. My best guess is the wedding tiara is a new piece specially made for Iman's big day. For her daughter's big day, Queen Rania chose a stone-hued gown from Christian Dior's Fall 2022 collection. The princess to be Rajwa Khalid chose a stunning and vibrant yellow roxanda dress for the day. The wedding ceremony was officiated very quickly. This was the first time I watched an Islamic wedding. Although it was not a traditional Islamic wedding and we got to see only the official ceremony, not the nikah and or walima ceremonies, but it was beautiful. The priest described the sacred foundation of married life ahead of the wedding and blessed the couple. Then Iman and Jamil quickly exchanged vows. Unfortunately, the palace did not allow us to listen to those vows. Then the wedding register was signed by the bride's father King Abdullah II. The bride and groom themselves finished the wedding process by signing the wedding register.
Queen Rania, always the elegant and professional lady in the royal circle, was in full mother mode today. We saw her shedding few tears during the ceremony and at the end she was seen helping Iman with her wheel too. Iman's both brothers, Prince Hussain and Prince Hashim, signed the register as the witnesses. Prince Hussain is set to marry his beautiful Saudi Arabian fiancée on June 1st this year. While Iman's wedding was a low-key event, Hussain's wedding is expected to be a big fat Jordanian royal wedding. Then a prayer for the blessed wedding was read by the priest and then the couple was asked to exchange the rings. A very fascinating concept that I found during the engagement of Crown Prince Hussain and Rajwa Khalid was that in Jordan, at the engagement ceremony, couples put rings on each other's right hand. And at the wedding, they take off those rings and put them on the left hand, as you can see Iman and Jamil did during the wedding. Then newly married Mr. and Mrs. Thermiotis received felicitations and best wishes from their close family members before leaving the venue for the next part of the wedding, cake cutting ceremony. The couple's walk to the reception gave us a better look of Iman's wedding dress wheel. A six-tier cake was waiting for them in the second part of the palace where a small reception was hosted by the king and queen for the couple, family and friends. Most of the wedding and celebration details have been kept under the wraps, so we do not know if any more receptions are being organized for the couple or by the couple to celebrate their big day. Both Iman and Jamil made a beautiful couple together and look very happy. We wish them a very happy and blessed married life ahead.